All right, then welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question, triangles on a rectangle. Now, this is a simple question based on geometry. I hope you have read the question once, but I'll quickly summarize it for you. We are given a rectangle with opposite corners in 0, 0 and WH and sides parallel to the axis drawn on a plane. So, what they're saying is here we are given a rectangle with uh, corners being, opposite corners being on 0, 0 and WH. And if this is the case, then of course, uh, this will be W0 and this will be 0H, right? So, we are given a rectangle. What next? Then you are given a list of lattice points such that each point lies on a side of a rectangle but not on its corner. So these are the lattice points, right? So these lies on the side of a corner, uh, like sides of a rectangle but not on its corner. So there are no lattice points at the corners, fine. Also there are at least two points on every side of the rectangle, okay? So these points for any given side, there are at least two points on it, okay? Your task is to choose three points in such a way that exactly two of them belong to same side of the rectangle right so we have to choose three points right so they are basically uh, saying us to form a triangle here uh, but in a way that two points of that triangle uh, should lie on the same side and the area of triangle formed by them is maximum possible right so the triangle uh, that you will form with the two points being on same side uh, will have the maximum area right so if you choose let's say two points here then third point can be here on this side uh, the third point can be on this side or the third point can be on the opposite side, right? Of course, it won't be on the same side because like three vertices of a triangle, vertices of a triangle cannot be collinear, right? So that's the property of a triangle. To solve this question, you only need two things, frankly. Uh, you, you need to know what a triangle is and area of triangle is half base into height. If you know these two things, like you should be good to go. There's no any new concept required here. But fine, what you want to print is you want to print the doubled area of this triangle and it can be shown that doubled area is always an integer. As you know it, the area of a triangle is half base into height, half base into height. If you double it, then of course it will be base into height. So of course it will be always integer. So this is how they show it. Okay. So yeah, uh, that's about the question, right? So what you are given is effectively, let's just concretize it. You will be given WH in the input. Uh, giving WH, you can define the entire rectangle, right? But then you will need information about the lattice points and that's what it is given. So the next two lines, uh, this orange line, so this next two lines. Uh, describe the lattice, these lattice points, that is lattice points on the horizontal sides and uh, the next two lines in our input will define the horizontal points, like sorry, the points on our vertical sides, that's what they have said and the way they have defined it is, uh, for example, to define this, uh, that is the first line uh, will have the y coordinate to be 0, right, the y coordinate will be 0 as they have written, first line y coordinate 0 and the second line, the second orange line y coordinate is h, right, and how they define it? They will simply define x1, x2, x2, so on, how many of your points you have, right? So, how many of your points you have will be defined. So, for example, to define these points, first they will uh, give a value of k. In this case, it is 2. And what is x1 and x2, right? For example, uh, and after that, two vertical lines, right? De a definition of like lattice points on this vertical sides. How they are going to define it is first for uh, x equals to 0 and then for x equals to w, right? That's what I have written. And how they are going to define it? Y1, Y2, Y1, Y2, Y3, so on, right? And the most important thing here is these points are in ascending order. Uh, that is first this, then this, this, then this, this, then this, and so on, right? And points given in ascending order just eases down implementation. It will uh, make sure that implementation is very easy. And yeah, so that's the input, width of the rectangle and the lattice points. And for each test case, you need to pin the doubled maximum area of triangle by such three points that exactly two of them belong to the same side, fine. So we want to maximize the area of triangle, right? So area of triangle is given by half base into height. Now for those of you uh, who have forgotten the idea of base and height, uh, here's a quick refresher for you. So I'll come back to this rectangle uh, when you'll understand the problem. But if uh, these are the triangles that are given to you, how do you interpret in base and height? So like base, like any side of a triangle can be a base and depending on it, the height will change. So what is this height here is, so you have half base into height, right? This height will actually depend upon what base you choose, right? So any side of the triangle can be a base. This height is actually height of the altitude from the opposite vertex. What I mean by that is, let's just take here. If this is the base, if you consider this side to be the base, then you go to the opposite vertex. This line, the height of this line. So what is this? Uh, the altitude drawn perpendicular to the base from the opposite vertex. This is what height is, right? So this is height, this is base. Similarly, if you consider this guy to be the base, 
and I guess this is a right angle triangle, so there is a right angle. So from the opposite vertex, like this will be the height, right? If you consider, of course, this guy to be the base, then this will be the height, nothing much. Uh, come this, uh, this triangle is interesting. See, if you consider uh, this thing to be the base, from the opposite vertex, you will have to uh, draw an altitude and you might have to extend this base behind the scenes and this will be your height, right? So height of the altitude and this will be the base. Right, so base, of course, base will be equal to the whatever side you choose and the altitude will depend on it. For example, if this is the base, this is the height, right? So, I guess this is a basic uh, <laughs> triangle knowledge. Uh, if you didn't know it, you know now, but yeah. So, that's how base and height work, right? Depending on the what base you choose, this is how the height will be calculated. Now, uh, let's just see here. Uh, what we want to do is we want to choose uh, two points, right? To choose uh, like the way our triangle is going to form is, we want to choose two points on a single side on a single side and then the third point on of course not on the same side but any of these three sides right so a brute force might be uh, for a given point uh, try all the possible points yeah but of course that's not gonna work right <laughs> because i guess there are a lot of points 10 to 5 points okay yeah sorry so there are a lot of points so uh, it's not gonna work we have to do something better right uh, so look at the formula what can you see if you want to uh, maximize uh, this you need to maximize the base and you need to maximize the height and uh, you know one thing you can choose two points on any given side right so and every side has at least two lattice points so let's just consider this side as an example there can be many lattice points here right many lattice points here and uh, we have to choose two points from it so let's just consider this side to, the, to be the base right so whatever two points uh, the side formed by the points that you choose here to be the base whichever points you decide to choose here I'll consider that side to be the base uh, because it makes uh, the problem more approachable and anyway the choice of base is yours, right? So that's what I'm going to do. Whatever two points I'm going to choose, I'm going to consider uh, the side form by it will be my base. Okay, good. Uh, so look at this formula. We want to maximize the base, right? So what points are you going to choose? Of course, you're going to choose the points the farthest apart, right? Because that will maximize the base. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose the two points which maximizes the side like the maximizes the base that's what i did now how am i gonna choose the third point then the third point uh, can lie somewhere here can lie somewhere here or can lie somewhere here now let's just see uh, what happens uh, i'll just maybe use the different colors so it can lie here as well and it can lie here as well let's verify okay so what happens if it uh, lies uh, here then this will be the triangle formed what will be the height so this will be the base fine this is base the height will be, uh, you have to draw perpendicular, right? So, this will be the height. Okay. Let's call it H1. Fine. This will be height. Okay. Uh, then, let's just see this orange case. This, right? So, this will be the triangle formed. The base is same, right? For all the three triangles, base will be same because that's what you have chosen. So, this is, uh, then what is the height? This will be height. Call it H2. Now, let's try to choose a point on the opposite end. And come like this. So, what is height? Uh, the height is the height of the perpendicular drawn from this vertex to here. So, if we draw perpendicular from this side to here, what will, what will be its height? This will be H. Sorry, this will be W. <laughs> Sorry, this is W, right? So, width of the rectangle, right? That's what it will be. Right? And uh, among H1, H2 and H3, which one is highest? Of course, width. And it is obvious, uh, you choose any point here, any point here, uh, it is going to give you W height only. In other words, what just happened is, for this, for all the points on this side, you only had one candidate. Choose the two farthest points, consider these as base, and you select any point from the opposite side. This is your candidate triangle for this side, right? So, you want, remember, we want to form triangles such that we have exactly two points on a given side. For each side, I only have one candidate, right? For this side also, I only have one candidate. Uh, choose the two farthest apart points and any point from the opposite side, any point. And you are sure that there will be a point on the opposite end because every side has at least two points. For this guy, choose the two farthest points and any point on the opposite side, right? For this guy, choose any, uh, like choose the two farthest points, consider this base and any point on the opposite end. It will make sure that this is the maximum uh, area triangle for this side, right? And if you think about it, this enumerates all the possible combinations. Because in the end, we have to uh, like consider all the points, right? All the possible sides possible. So this is what I'm trying to do. 
I'm going to choose the farthest two points. This will give me the largest possible base for any two points chosen on this side. Remember, if I choose the two farthest points, this will give me a largest base for any two uh, points that I choose here. And any point that I choose from this end on in this side is going to give me the largest height, right? So half base into height, right? So for this side, this is only the candidate. This is the optimal candidate. Similarly, for this side as well, this side as well, this side as well. And so, yeah, the question is done and dusted. You only have four triangles to consider. And uh, in the end, we don't have to print the triangle which we chose. We just have to print the doubled maximum area. So, whichever triangle gives you the maximum area among these four triangles, uh, four possible optimal triangles, you print that. Fine. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, let's just quickly implement it. Okay, guys. So, let's just quickly implement it. Uh, first things first, I've taken the width and height input. And I'll initialize the answer. Okay. In the end, you know, we have to consider only four triangles, right? So one triangle for each of the sides. Uh, which one is that? Consider the two points, uh, like farthest two points on that side and uh, any point on the opposite side. The reason we are not considering the adjacent sides is because you choose any point on the adjacent sides, uh, it's not going to give you a height more than, uh, like height more than which you will get on the opposite end, right? That's one thing. And yeah, so I just take the input then. You know that uh, you will get like, four lines of input here i less than four first two horizontal sides and then two vertical sides I less than four i plus plus and uh each line starts with k how many points are there right so yeah okay fine and now uh let's just take the points input i'm just taking it long long uh because i have to multiply right so that's why that's the only reason i'm doing it uh because i have to calculate the area so it should not cross in right so i'll just name it points okay points on this side so what I'll do is, um, there are how many points? K number of points, right? So in J equals to zero, J less than K, J plus plus, fine. And uh, maybe I don't need these packets here. I can just do C in uh, coordinates, like sorry, point of J, right? So I'm just taking the input, the points. You know that for horizontal sides, you only get the uh, X coordinate. For vertical sides, you only get the Y coordinates. That's one thing. That's why it's a vector. It's not a vector of vector. Right. So what I need to do now is I need to consider, uh, so when you are here for each iteration, you will consider a side, right? So for firstly, you will have two horizontal sides. So I equals to zero, I equals to one is two horizontal sides and I equals to one and I equals to, sorry, I equals to two and I equals to three will be vertical sides. What I'm saying is I equals to zero, I equals to one. There are horizontal sides that you will consider uh, and I equals to two, I equals to three, we will have vertical sides to consider. The reason why this is important is because for the horizontal sides, the height will be what? H, right? So height of the triangle that is. And for the vertical side, the height of the triangle would be W. I guess we have already seen it in the explanation. So what I'll do is, I'll update the answer. Answer equals to max of answer. And now I need to find the uh, area of a triangle uh, considering the two farthest points on this side. So what are the two farthest points? So that is what is the, uh, you know, in other words, what is the base for this side? It will be points of K minus one, the last guy minus points of zero and this works because the points are given in ascending order right points of k minus and points of zero it's the length of the base and you have to multiply it with the height now what will be height that can be easily calculated if i is less than two then uh, height will be h otherwise w for horizontal side is the, the height of triangle will be h for vertical side will be w right so yeah that's that uh, and we care about doubled maximum area that's why i'm not putting half here so yeah that's uh, how it is supposed to be and that's pretty much done and dusted i'll just the answer now Simple, right? So what you have done is you have initialized the answer and uh, for each of the sides, you are calculating uh, the maximum doubled area possible for that side and that's that. Let's just quickly run it. It seems to be working. I'll quickly submit it. Yeah, it works. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.